A very big welcome to everyone. I have another 12 by 12 layout for you and I will be using the papers from Courtier Creations and the collection is actually called A Sunburnt Country. So as you can see, I had picked my photos earlier and it was time to pick the paper. Now I picked this paper 07A because I loved that sort, well not that sort of, all that writing that's going down the side. Not a fan of the galah, I'm not a bird fan, I, well I don't like birds at all, sorry I know a lot of you do but it's not my cup of tea. And the paper on top, that rocky terrain, I'm going to trim that down a bit and I picked, I loved that paper because I thought it went well with my photos. The photos are taken at Potato Point Beach and at Potato Point Beach at low tide on the south side of the beach, if you walk around the rocks, you come to this gorgeous area where some old um, machinery has somehow appeared there. I don't really know how, but it's been rusting for years. And the kids just love going there and, ex and having adventures, looking to see what they can find. There's lots of seashells. We always come home with a ton of seashells because you can collect quite a bit around there. And it's just, we always have a great time whenever we visit Potato Point. The background paper is paper, it's side B of paper 10A. And what I'm just doing here is I'm trying to find out a way of matching my photos. So as you can see, I did audition quite a number of papers. In the end, I decided to give my photo a small white mat. And once I matted it with the white, I then found this gorgeous red paper from my stash. And now I was so happy. This paper goes back to 2007. So it's over 10 years old. It's been sitting in my stash for over a decade. How sad is that? So I'm glad I finally got it used and it was perfect for, for these photos because the photos are actually throwing a lot of orange and really orange, orange because of, well, I guess it's because of all that rust. So loving the look of that, I'm going to give it a, a bigger mat this time round and I actually cut an extra fourth square. So this becomes more like a grid layout, I guess you could say that. So putting in my photos and really enjoying reminiscing about this wonderful day that we had there and just the kids well my son mainly enjoying his adventures and looking at all the rusty machinery bits that somehow landed up in this isolated little point down south of new south wales and what am i doing here so this layout came together very quickly i must admit it was a very easy layout the papers were absolutely gorgeous coordinated well with everything and I just thought it would be great to showcase an unusual part of Australia. So here I decided that I was going to ink the edges of my papers and all the papers including the background paper and the other two pieces as well as all my mats and my photo get inked with this, what is it, it's from Antique Brilliant, Brilliant, it's a product from Prima and the colour is called Lucky Emerald. And I just like to do this, like to ink all my edges, just because I think it provides some unity and conformity throughout the whole layer. So there's something that's consistent through everything. It's, it is a personal choice. You don't have to do it. Uh, it's just something that I tend to do. The layout for me at this stage is just looking a little bit too plain. And I wanted a special embellishment, I guess you could say. So what I did was I went through my stash and I found a gorgeous dye that I had of a mason jar and I thought oh I've never used this before there was a mason jar and I decided to use this paper 11a and I just want that little uh, cut apart there just going to cut it run the dye through my cuddle bug and I'm going to have my little mason jar absolutely loved my little mason mason jar I was so happy with it it's always the simple things in life that make us happy isn't it and I just used this other paper from the Sunburn collection just to do my title, Potato Point. And then it was time to play with the ephemera. Now the ephemera from a Sunburn country is absolutely gorgeous. I just love the colour. I love everything about it, except for the birds. Sorry, I do not like the birds. Too many birds featured, but you know, each to their own. I don't like birds. I'm sure a lot of you out there do, but I have an issue with them. So anyway, I'm going to use that map of Australia and then I found this gorgeous waratah and I fell in love. I wanted to put it somehow in my mason jar but it's still a sort of a 
funny shape, it's a square cutout. But I take out my fussy cutting scissors and I go to town with some fussy cutting. So it was a little bit time consuming, but I had a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed fussy cutting. You can just sit back, watch some shows and cut away. So my next thing was to try and work out how I was going to do my little, well, embellishment there. So I'm playing with the gum leads here and it, it took me a little while to get the composition right. But once I liked what I saw, I just glued everything together and I love this embellishment. I just, I don't know why, but I really do love the Waratah in the mason jar. It just really came together nicely. Not pre-planned or anything, but in the end, really happy. And this is another ephemera pack. It's from Kaiser Craft and it's called Under the Gum Leaves. And I do put another Waratah there. I did play around with the emu and then decided no, because Potato Point is famous for its emus. There's usually, well, whenever we go there, there's a family of three emus that sort of tend to wander around. And look at mine, look at my jar. I'm so proud of that. And I actually stuck some acorns down that were from the ephemera pack from a sunburnt country. And in the centre there, I'm going to put down these wattle leaves. I think they're wattle leaves. They could be gum. No, I'm pretty sure they're wattle leaves. And I'm just going to stick them down there. I just thought that that was pretty appropriate since Potato Point is surrounded by gum trees and wattles and everything. And, yeah, that's it for the layout. I did some journaling and that's about it. So thank you all for watching. I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel. And till next time, stay safe. And bye, everyone.